my background uh, is pharmaceuticals, so yeah, there were tons of different routes that I could have made tons of money. At the end of the day, you're sort of like, you know, what difference am I making? What sort of impact am I having? And I realized that even though students came from, you know, poor backgrounds, disadvantaged backgrounds, that they too had the same ability to learn and to love science and to love the same things that I did. Actually being able to have students' eyes light up because they, you know, completed a science project or got some results and some data and made these observations, um, that the, the feeling was completely different than closing my laptop at the end of the day and, you know, finishing a report or something like that. Antonio, or Mr. Vance as the students know him, he was uh, my first resident, it was my first time being a mentor. He was so enthusiastic, he had so many different ideas, like there's ideas I stole from him all the time. It was great having his personality in the room. One of the great things about the Philadelphia Teacher Residency was this opportunity to make mistakes. My mentor would say, you know, hey, you know, go ahead and try that. But then having those hands there to sort of guide you um, when you did make a mistake and to go back and say, hey, you know, what did you think about that? What could, have, what, what could you have done better? It was this safe environment where you could really learn to be yourself and learn to manage a classroom. I think the network system that PTR provides for the three years following the residency is so important. Having that support system, people you're familiar with, people who know what you're capable of. You know, they know when the students view you as a first year teacher and they're testing you. Um, they've seen you in the past and they've seen you do great things. Everybody knows the first year teaching is hard and I would not have made it without the network and the group, uh, the, the peer group that I had. You get support in your school, but having someone that really understands um, what you're going through and are in the, in, in the same boat that you're in really, really helps. And it's really supportive and it's, it's, it's requisite for being a really good teacher. There's this huge achievement gap. And folks in these disadvantaged backgrounds don't feel like they can be doctors and nurses and scientists and physicists and chemists. And so I feel like I'm also like a cheerleader, right? Uh, telling students, hey, you can do this hard chemistry. Don't be you know, afraid of this formula. And it's really inspiring to see students really make that turn that, you know, hey, I'm from a really tough neighborhood in Philadelphia. Uh, come from a rough background, but I can still balance a chemical equation. I can still do all of the, the, the tough things that that you would see in a suburban school or anywhere else.